We've just finished up working with the eyelets and the mending stitches on the Faf Creative Icon 2. But let's go ahead and do another utility type stitch. What if you needed to do a blind hem? So your blind hem stitches is stitch number 17 and 18. But if you did not know that, come up to the little picture of a book at the top and let's come back out to the help center. So you can go ahead and look in the user's guide, type in blind hem. You can also find techniques and tutorials. So here with different hems and waistlines, I bet I could actually find a full on tutorial on how to do a blind hem. And this wouldn't be a bad idea because one of the things people ask, ask me is like, how do you fold your fabric? Like, I know how to fold the fabric to get ready for a blind hem, but if you forget, here is the information for preparing, finding your stitch, and then also watching a short video on how to do it. Remember, touch content, and this will give you and get you to the stitch that you need to use. So if you didn't know which one to go to, definitely utilize that area where you can pick the technique you wanna do, and then the machine will take you to the stitch. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, it sees that I have a different foot on. It has, I have foot 2A on. So as I pull that off, then it is going to recognize that I don't have a foot on. And is recommending that we put on foot three and engage the dual feed. So foot three is a foot, actually I use quite a bit, but this little red marker here is adjustable. So once I put this in, I'm gonna be adjusting this based on the thickness of fabric that I'm stitching. Now I'm gonna show you the little trick to that. There's also a little pin in there. Can you see that little wire that's sticking through the stitching area? So you do wanna make sure that when you put this foot on that you are choosing a stitch that doesn't hit that pin. Bring the foot in place, lift up, bring the dual feed down. The machine has told me it is happy over here. Slide the thread down through the groove so it's tucked underneath. And if you've already kind of finger pressed your fold, you will find that you can slide it in. So let me, I'll just give you the quick rundown on the fold. You will have pressed up your new hem. This will be the final one. And what you're doing is you're coming back here flip it over, and the stitch is actually gonna go stitch into the full fold, come back, stitch on the flat side, bite into the fold, and so forth. And when you get those little bites, that's what it makes it look like you've done it by hand, which we don't have to do the hand work anytime soon. So here's what I'm looking at. First off, you notice that the needle is hanging out on the right-hand side. If you lower the presser foot down, hand turn the needle down, until it takes a stitch or two, here it comes, there's the needle jumping to the uh, let's see, left side of the stitch. Now right now, if I was to stitch, it's a really big deep bite into that fold, and that's not what we want. What you wanna do is touch the foot uh, down button that lifts it just a little bit, not a lot, and then move the fabric so when you sink the needle by hand into the fold. You're just barely taking a small bite. So I'm gonna kinda of get that to bite. And then, as you're here, you can adjust this guide. I'm gonna move it so it's touching this fold. And as you slide it all the way over, a little further. Oh, that's gonna look good. You can lower that presser foot down. And now when you stitch, you're just gonna keep the fabric nicely hugged, we'll call that right up against that red marker, and you're gonna get the smallest but most even bite all the way down. Slide this out the back. You can see that it's bit into the fabric just a little bit, and when we open it up, this is proof. If those stitches are nice and even, which they are, you have done it correctly. Now, of course, you can see these stitches, and they are definitely not blind at all, but if I had matched my thread, they would totally be holding that hem in place and nobody would see, see it. Give it a nice press and you're set to go. There was that other blind hem stitch that I pointed out at the beginning. That would be the blind hem stitch to use if you were working on stretchy fabric. So it'd have a little give to it, uh, but it would still do the bite in the same exact way. We have tons of videos of all these great sewing techniques on our 
Fof Icon 2 playlist on YouTube and check out all the videos that are built into your machine because there's a, over a hundred of them for you to watch to truly master tons of techniques.